In spring of 2016, the Pogel Project visited York suburban high school science teachers Lee Foy and Erica Steyer to see Pogel in action in their chemistry classes. They shared how Pogel is making a difference for their students and for them as teachers. Students also shared their experiences with Pogel activities, particularly the value of working in groups. We hope you enjoy meeting these dedicated teachers and thoughtful students as much as we did. I happened to stop in front of the Pogel booth, had never heard anything. This is 12 years ago. And within a very short period of time, I recognized this is gold. So I was the first teacher in my building to use Pogel, and if I had not had my Pogel community to, to support me, I think that I would have felt much more lonely in going out in this new endeavor. Um, and because of working with the High School Pogel Initiative, I had some ready set friends. And you know, we can say, gosh, this didn't work, have you tried this? You know, what ideas do you have? And then, as my colleagues have learned to embrace Pogol, we are now doing that for each other. I was first introduced to Pogol five years ago when I first started teaching here at Suburban, and I was so lucky to have Lee Foy as a resource. We ran through a mock student setup where we got into the groups, I learned about the roles, and um, she provided me with all the resources and we got the Pogo book. So I spent some time looking through it the first year and I started implementing them my first year of teaching. I would say in general, when I very first started, I thought all this touchy-feely stuff that you do to try to promote cooperative groups is not really necessary. And I was so wrong, because it is necessary. That is the backbone of, of how the Pogel does its magic. I specifically love the way it brought some of my quieter, more shy students to the forefront, um, because you can choose to give some of the more shy, more reserved students the leadership role, and it was wonderful to see them blossom in that leadership role and to see how they'd step up. I like that it's all collaborative, and I really learn a lot from the people that are I'm doing it with. I like the group work portion of it because there are sometimes things that I understand that my group mates don't understand and then some things I don't understand that they can fill in for me. So I think that's a very helpful thing when you're working in a group that you're kind of able to learn from each other and I think that's really valuable and I found that I was able to actually retain the information a little better when I was taught by my peers and when I got to teach them. Here at my school, we have just rolled out what we call a blended class. Our enrollment's going up, we don't have money, we're not hiring new teachers, and so every other day, I structure my class basically as a flipped classroom. So I'm giving direct instruction via technology, and I am focusing on the hands-on activities and group activities on the days when the kids are here. So Pogel is a really important piece of that. Doing it in an interactive way, it sticks more. Like, I'll be taking tests and think, oh, that was on my Pogel, that was on this problem. It's a real world pro problem, and I feel like that makes us better understand what's, um, how that's applied. So. And I invited in local business leaders and um, into my classroom to talk about teen skills. And, and communication skills and you know, problem solving skills and how important it is in the workforce to be able to work together with a group. I can see other people's perspectives on things and I can use their point of view to kind of help me figure out the answer. Instead of always relying on like Ms. Steyer or Mrs. Foy to give me the answer, they like show me a new way to figure things out. So when it comes like a test time, I can figure things out in a different way than I would have thought of before. The way that we collaborate with Pogles, I think is good for working in any class really because what you have to do, I mean obviously you have to talk with your group mates, make sure that they're on task, make sure that they understand the answer that you put down. I've gone to like uh, Starbucks to have a study session with some of my friends and basically kind of modeled it after the Pogo thing about how we like work together collaboratively and how like each of us come together to like do a worksheet or go through questions and try and get an answer that we all agree on.
as we you know, look forward to the 21st century and utilizing very powerful technology, um, I feel like that Pogel is a very important piece of, of making education a human endeavor. You know, it's not just about me delivering content. That is an important piece, but it is about the students interacting and it's about them discovering for themselves with the teacher's guidance these concepts that we need. And so I think I see Pogel as even a more important tool as we move forward um, into the future of education.